Uh, greetings, everybody. This is Brother Cruz. I'm in Temple, Texas. Today is January the 6th, 2021. Can you believe it? We made it through 2020. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anyhow, uh, I'd like to read out of Psalms 139 today. Psalms 139 talks about God's omniscience, God's omnipresence, and God's omnipotence. We're not going to cover all that today. Today, we're just going to cover God's omniscience. Omniscient, omniscient means he knows everything or knowing everything. So we're about to read Psalms 139 verses 1 through 6 that clearly bring out the point that God knows everything. So this is David writing this. I'm not sure at what point in his life he's writing this. I'm really not sure about that, but, but we do know that he's writing and he's declaring that God knows everything. So I want to start out with Psalms 139, verse 1. We're going to read through 6. Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You understand my thought from afar. You scrutinize my path and my lying down. You are intimately acquainted with all my ways. Even before there is a word on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it all. You have enclosed me behind and before, and you have laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is too high. I cannot attain to it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me read verse 7. It says, where, I, where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? Wow. Amazing. In other words, anywhere I go, Lord, you're there. Now that's talking about the omnipresence of God. Today we want to focus on the earlier verses, verses 1 through 6, about the omniscience of God. He's, he's omniscient, meaning He knows everything. You know, as I was reading this uh, passage here a couple of days ago, I started thinking about some phone calls I've been receiving and some text messages I've been receiving here in 2021. All of us know that 2020 was a year of, that a lot of us went through a lot of battles. A lot of us lost jobs. A lot of us were furloughed from our jobs. A lot of us went through a lot of setbacks we weren't expecting. Well, here comes, and we made it. Thank God we made it. By the grace of God, we made it. Well, here we come to a new year, and thank God for a new year. Thank God 2020 is behind us, and now we can look forward into 2021. But as 2021 started, I started getting phone calls and from, from friends of mine and, and, and text messages about some difficult things they're encountering right now. And so uh, I just want to encourage every one of you in 2021 that's going through a difficult time. As I was reading these, these passages, as David was writing the, his, uh, these thoughts about the Lord's omniscience, that God knows everything, uh, David was telling us that God knows every minute detail about him. David was writing that God knows everything about him. David was writing that nothing inside of David can be hidden from God. It reminds me of 1 Samuel 16, 7, where it says that God looks at the heart. My friends, bottom line, what I'm trying to say is God not only know, knows the very details and the minute details and the hidden things in the heart of David, but God also knows the minute details and knows everything and knows what's inside the hearts of us, of you and I. So I want you to know that whatever you're going through, whatever battle you're going through right now, God knows you by name. God knows your name. 
The Bible says that God knows when a tear, when we shed a tear. God knows the very number of hairs on our head. God knows everything about us. You know, uh, nothing can be hid from God. God knows even the thoughts of our heart. Praise the Lord. God knows our motives. God knows our intent. So I want you to know, my friends, uh, and, 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 in, and in particular, th those of you that have texted me, that have called me, of course, I'm talking to everybody because a lot of people, even though it's a new year and we're hoping for better things, even though things are still uncertain right now, they're now talking about a second wave, a possibly a third wave of a new uh, strand of, of, of COVID-19. I want you to know, my friends, that God knows everything. God knows the stress you're under. God knows the anxiety you're going through. God knows the pain you're going through. My sister Irene, she just had a heart attack. And, and what I'm hearing is the doctors really can't do much for her right now because her kidneys are bad. In other words, they can't work on her heart problems until they get her kidney problems solved. And then when they start working on her kidneys, that medicine will affect her heart. So, but Irene, I want you to know, God knows every pain you're going through and God knows every heartache you're going through and God knows every tear that you've shed and God hears every prayer you're praying. So keep fighting the good fight. Don't give up. And I found out last night uh, that my cousin Erica just got her first job as a principal down in, oh, I want to say Leander, ISD. So it's, it's, I, I want to say Leander, Texas, and I'm proud of you, Erica, but I heard that you're going through some uh, liver issues. And I want you to know, uh, uh, Erica, that God knows this already. God knew it before 2021 got here. God has a plan for you. He's got a plan for Irene. He's got a plan for me. And the Bible says that all things work together for good, to them that love God and are called according to His purposes. So God has a master plan. So Erica, you just keep fighting and keep pursuing your goals. Praise the Lord. And then uh, uh, another lady, uh, Michelle. Uh, Michelle, uh, my cousin, she called me that her daughter Madison is still in the hospital. They don't know what's going on with her. She's having a lot of problems. If I, if I remember right, it's up in the brain and uh, up in the cranium. And so, but let me tell you, uh, she's been to the doctors in Fort Worth and the hospital in Fort Worth and, and other hospitals and so forth. They're recommending specialists and all that. But I want you to know, Michelle, that God knows what you're going through. God knows what you've been through. God knows what, everything about Madison and God has a plan for Madison for your daughter. And God has a plan for you, Michelle. So you just keep on trusting and believing in God. Irma, you know, you've got, to, for for long, long time, you've had liver problems and continue to have liver problems, but God has a plan. I can remember years ago when you wrote me a letter that you thought that the end was near, but here we are years later and you're still breathing life. God has a plan, Irma. And your husband, Ken, he suffered a stroke going through therapy in a wheelchair. Last time I talked to the phone because of the stroke, I didn't even know what he was saying because of the stroke. His speech was muttered. But I want you to know, Ken and Irma, God knows your very name. He knows you. And don't you forget that. Praise the Lord. You just keep leaning on Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Angela. Uh, you've been over in Fort Worth. You've been fighting for a long time with health issues. God hasn't forgot about you. You haven't been able to come to church, but guess what? God is still there with you in your house. We love you, sister. And you just, you just keep believing for your children. And you keep believing for yourself because you've got others that are praying for you. We love you. Uh, Michelle uh, Brewer up in Pilot Point. A good, good, dear friend of mine, one of my ex-youth from Garland, Texas. Well, when she was a youth, she lived in Garland. She's now a married lady up in Pilot Point. She's gone through a difficult, difficult time. Her husband has a, an illness, 
Uh, they say that it's a uh, illness that eventually is going to take his life. We're going to put that in God's hands. And uh, Michelle, you've been dealing with a lot of things, having to care for your husband, the uncertainty of your husband, and other things. I want you to know, sister, that I love you. A lot of people love you, not just me. And we're all praying for you. And you just keep knowing what I have always taught you. No retreat, no surrender. We don't ever give up on the gospel. We don't ever throw in the towel. You know why? Because the battle's already been won. And at the cross, Jesus said, it's finished. He died for our sins. And when we confessed him as Lord, we got our ticket to, to be with God, to be with Jesus for eternity in heaven. And he's with us today via his Holy Spirit. His Holy Spirit is here to comfort us, to lead us, to protect us, to instruct us, and so forth. So we're not alone. God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So my friends, I want to close by saying, God knows your name. You may think he's forgotten about you. You may think that he's a long ways away. You may think he's abandoned you, but he has not. To everybody that's fighting in 2021, some people are saying, man, great things are ahead. And they may be, and I hope they are. But right now, there's a lot of people still hurting. There's people still without jobs. There's still people worrying about how they're going to pay rent. There's still people worrying about their utilities. My friends, there's nothing that you're not thinking about and that you're not going through that God's not aware of. Let's trust Him. Remember, you don't have any problems. All you need is faith in God. And also, my friends, uh, you know, one more thing. I want to talk about David, a good friend of mine. David, uh, you're incarcerated. Uh, and I want you to know we ain't forgot about you. You're way down there uh, near, near the Texas-Mexico border. They got you a long way from your family. And right now, because of COVID, inmates cannot get visitors. So, brother, don't think, I know you can't see this video, but your family can. So don't think, David, you're alone. And family, David's family, don't think we forgot about him. We're praying for David. And uh, I know one thing. There's a lot of people that are in prison that are more free than people that are out here free in the free world. And you know why they're more free in prison? Because they came to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In closing, you don't have any problems. All you need is faith in God. No retreat. No surrender. God bless.